Hey guys, what's going on? It's another idol. So, it's that time of the year again. We have all of these game expos that are now in full swing. And this week it is Gamescom in Germany and we've had some pretty exciting news. We had some exciting news from E3, but the real meat of all of our information for The Taken King is coming from Gamescom it seems. Bungie have released uh, a lot of information themselves, but a lot of information has come from Game Informer. A lot of the information that we are getting is very abrupt, in your face, factual information, bam bam bam. But we're getting a lot of more subtle information in trailers. Um, and this is very typical of Bungie to do that. They like, they like to have their fans explore for information themselves, which are very interesting. So let's start off with some of the basics of these announcements. Game Informer is going to be releasing information over the course of the next month. And over on the Game Informer website, there is a hub um, which is dedicated to the Taken King news. This Basically, this hub is just a page which lists all of the Taken King articles that they're going to be publishing. Um, and I would personally bookmark this page so you can visit back pretty much every day just to see what's being updated. They are going to be releasing some more information today, which is the 5th of August. So if you're watching this video when it's, when it's released, keep refreshing that page because there's going to be some more information dropping shortly. So the first very big piece of news that emerged from the Game Informer um, articles was that Dinklebot was going to be replaced with Nolan North, which is pretty big news. All of Peter Dinklage's lines are being re-recorded um, and it's going to be reimagined. Now, this for me is an interesting move by Bungie and I think that this is probably an attempt by them to address some of the complaints that came early on in Destiny's release. Um, a lot of users complained that Peter Dinklage was kind of flat and emotionless and it was pretty boring to listen to. So I think that they're trying to trying to redo that sort of side of Ghost. Um, and just to go off on a on a quick tangent, if you don't know who Nolan North is, um, he's a, a an extremely big voice actor within the gaming industry. Um, he's voiced the likes of Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series, Desmond Miles in Assassin's Creed, and Penguin in Batman Arkham Knight. They're just to name a few. So one of the big things that I'm hoping from this is that we're going to be hearing some improved dialogue um, and we're going to get a lot more dialogue from the ghost, especially within DLC sort of settings. One of my biggest gripes with the DLCs was that ghost was kind of left out. Um, there was no new dialogue. It was all from the characters within the DLCs. So, you know, Eris Morn and Petrovenge were well the main storytellers within DLCs, but we had no dialogue from the ghost and that was simply because let's face it Peter Dinklage is busy with the Game of Thrones and any other roles that come his way um, and he's not a voice actor as such so touching on that hopefully Nolan North's schedule is a bit more open to recording audio in this fashion this is what he does as a job so no doubt that he is and he's actually come out himself and said that he hopes that this is a long and fruitful relationship which is really promising Another bit of information regarding Ghost is that the Ghost is actually going to give more insight into Destiny's lore. This was a little bit of information that has come from the end of the Game Informer article. Um, your Ghost can now scan objects to offer more insight into the world's lore. So you can scan like a, a Cabal's armor, uh, find out what regiment he was in, um, find out, you know, bits about the Cabal. So you find out more about the enemy's lore. Um, and one thing that I am hoping is a lot of people have been asking for integration of Grimoire. And I think that this is a really good opportunity for Bungie to implement Grimoire readings into the game. Um, you could access the Ghost and then you could go in and, you know, choose a Grimoire card and you'll have Nolan North reading it back to you. I think that's an interesting way of delivering Grimoire into the game. Um, and I think it would work quite well. So if that actually happens, I'll be really excited about that feature because I hate having to go to the Budgie website and reading it for myself. If there was something in-game, it would be much, much better. Overall, 
I think the recasting of Ghost is a little bittersweet. You know, we've all grown to love Dinklebot as our Ghost, and but Ghost has kind of been neglected in past DLCs, probably due to schedule errors or schedule discrepancies, rather. And having someone more dedicated, such as Nolan North, is probably the better choice. So overall, I'm kind of excited to see how Nolan Bot develops and how how it turns out as a key part of the Taken King experience and further on in the Destiny universe. So that is all for this video, but don't worry, there's going to be some more videos this week coming about all of the insane news that's coming out. I don't think I'm going to be able to produce as many videos as I want to on all of this stuff. It's very, very exciting. So that's all from me on this video. Watch out for the next video coming along. We're going to talk about leveling up and factions and all that good stuff. So keep an eye out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time back inside of Destiny.